Hey friends, it's Miss Sue um, coming from the Painted Turtle Pottery Studio. Today we're going to make our clay piggly wiggly. I am working from home right now, so I might not have everything that you need um, that you got in your kit, but I don't even know. Yeah, I'm gonna do this. We're okay. <laughs> okay, I got a big chunk of clay home that I don't need all that much. So let's just try and see if I can get, grab enough about a similar amount of what you got. Okay, so what you're going to need is your chunk of clay. You're going to need your pink pin tool and you should have gotten half a credit card. And you're gonna need a paintbrush and a cup of water and the water is going to be used to score and slip our pieces of clay together, okay? So the first thing that you're going to do with your chunk of clay is you're going to, uh, you got about a pound and a half, so you're going to rip it in half so that you have two chunks of clay. And the first chunk of clay, what you're going to do with it is you're going to roll it up into a ball, okay? Roll it up into a ball like this. It doesn't have to be perfect. And then we're going to take the side of our fist right here and we're gonna mash it down, okay? So what I like to do, first of all, is take this and slam it down. And then I'm gonna take my fist and slowly slam it. You're gonna probably bounce all around a little bit because you're on my dining room table. But we're going to pound this down, okay? What I like to do is pick it up, move it, and then pound it some more. This is one of my favorite projects, actually, this little pig. Um, and then I like to turn that over and pound it some more. Whoa, hey, that happened. <laughs> A bunch of stuff fell. I should probably be more careful about where, where I'm working. Okay, so pounding this down. All right, then you can um, take this, flap it over. I do that a couple of times. To make a piece of flat slab, I'm working on just an old tablecloth here. Uh, what is a tablecloth? I think it's actually a pillowcase but I like to work on fabric because it helps um, my clay not stick. Okay, so you're just looking for a piece about the thickness of uh, an Oreo cookie, maybe a little bit, a little bit less than that. Then you're gonna take this wonderful high-tech tool called a credit card, and you're just going to smooth out that surface that you just made, okay? Then you're gonna flip it over and smooth out the other side. This is called compressing our clay. And this helps our clay um, have strength, okay? So this is our mud puddle. We want this to look a little mud puddle-ish. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take this sharp pin tool and we're gonna create a little hole right here the reason we have to create a little hole right here is because we're going to put our Piggly Wiggly on top of it and um, we're going to make a pinch pot for that. If we don't put a little hole in here and we put our Piggly Wiggly on top, there's air that's going to get trapped inside there. And when we put it in the kiln, it's going to it's going to explode because it doesn't like trapped air. So I'm just going to take this and I'm going to cut a little hole, just a small little hole right in the middle of my slab, okay? It's just about um, like a baby finger through there, maybe, okay? And that's gonna make it so that um, our pinch pot, when we put our pinch pot on there, our, which is our pig's head, doesn't explode, okay? It's a spot away for the air to escape, all right? So then the next thing we want to do is we want to cut this into a organic sort of shape 
But before we do that, the one thing that we always want to do with our clay pieces is we want to turn it over and we want to put our name on here, okay? So you're going to put whatever your name is. I'm going to put PTP. And I'm not going all the way through. I'm just doing it lightly. You can do it with the pink end if you want. Uh, you can kind of write it in there. Okay. Um, that's just so that I know who to give this Piggly Wiggly back to because there's like three or four of you that chose to do the Piggly, Piggly Wiggly. Okay. So I want to make sure I'm giving you your piece back and not somebody else's. Now, this pin tool is really good for cutting clay. And what I want to do to this piece of clay is I kind of want to give it a sort of mud puddle feel. Okay, so I'm just going to cut it. Kind of mud puddly. See how it's not perfect? It's kind of a mud puddle feel. Right? Sounds good. Then what I like to do is I like to take a paintbrush. And I like to take some of the water off of it just so it's not super wet. And I like to smooth out that edge. You can also use your sponge that you got in your kit to do the same thing. Just a damp sponge along the edge will smooth that out. You can even take your finger, that not super wet, and just kind of smoosh it down with your finger. Okay, that's a good way to do it too. See how that just smoothed that out along that edge so it's not sharp when you go to um, pick it up. Okay. Now, your rest of your clay, we're going to divide that into half. Okay. You're probably going to have lots of extra clay left for this. This half we want to take and we want to. Um, smoosh into, mine's a little dry, but um, we're going to smoosh this into a, uh, a ball, okay? We're going to make a pinch pot now. This is probably way too much of a ball. That would be a big pig. Mm, I'm going to take some of that off. That would be a very big pig. Okay, so I'm making a ball, right? And I'm gonna smooth out any little imperfections that are on here. I'm just gonna take my fingers and I'm gonna smooth that all out. So that if we have any cracks, we're just gonna smooth it, okay? Now to make a pinch pot, we're gonna take our thumb and we're gonna push it into our ball. We're gonna hold our ball, clay ball, ball in one hand. We're gonna put our thumb in but we're not gonna go all the way through. We wanna kinda leave about this much room at the tip of our thumb before we poke out the other end of clay, okay? So we're gonna wiggle our thumb in, all right? Then we're gonna take these two fingers and we're going to pinch. So we're just gonna lightly pinch and turn, pinch and turn. And we're just gonna do that all the way around pinch and turn, okay? Then we're gonna move our finger up a little bit, take our thumb out and do the same thing here. Pinch and turn. And we're applying an even pressure all the way around. And then we're gonna pull our fingers out even more and do the same around the bottom edge. Pinch and turn, okay? And what we're looking for is a sort of very even shape. Um, notice I'm keeping my thumb inside, not on the outside. When you, when you do it this way, you tend to spread it open more. And we don't necessarily want it spread open more. But what we're looking to make is a little sort of half moon pot. And we want it to be even thickness. So I'm just pinching until, until I feel that, you can feel if it's thick in one spot or thin in one spot, 
um, just pinch a couple more times in that one spot. If it's thin in another spot, don't pinch any more there. Okay. And then we're just looking to get a nice round sort of half, half moon. And then it might not be even. Look, at it, it's kind of wobbly. That's okay. I'm just going to take this and I'm going to tap it down on my table so I get a flat edge. And then maybe pinch some more in a couple of spots, not hard. Spread it out a little bit more until I get my pig's head. That's my pig's head. So whenever we stick to, I'm gonna put this aside for a second and show you something. Whenever we stick two pieces of clay together, if we had two pieces of clay and we want them to stick together, if we just go like this, um, they're not gonna stick together very good. They kind of do, but they don't stick together perfectly, right? So whenever we want two pieces of clay to stick together, we have to do something called scratching and slipping, okay? So slip is just basically liquid clay. So to make slip, we're gonna do our scratching first, which is taking our pin tool and making some scritchy, scratchy, scritchy, scratchies in here. Kind of like tic-tac-toes, but crazy tic-tac-toes. And you're gonna put them on both pieces that you're joining together. Scritchy, scratchy, scritchy, scratchy, okay? So that the surface is roughed up. Then you're gonna take your brush with some water and you're gonna go like that. And see how that makes liquid clay? That's called slip. So see how it turns all kind of groggy and muggy, muddy there? That's how you're going to attach two pieces together by making it liquidy like that. Then you take them and you give them a little bit of a push and a little bit of a wiggle. They're kind of slimy. So when you go like this, you'll actually feel that they don't slide as much, like they start sliding and then you're like, mm, nope, they've stopped sliding. So you push them together, give them a little wiggle, and they, they are stuck together, okay? So every time that you are attaching clay to clay, we have to scratch, okay? So we scratch the two pieces, add some water to make slip, push, and kind of give it a little bit of a wiggle, okay? So we need to attach this pig, this pig head to our mud puddle, because that's the base of his head, right? So um, we want to attach that to that, because that's where he's gonna, that's where he's gonna live. Um, so I want to do scratching all around the top of this, and then you can see. Usually, what I like to do is just kind of make some little marks where this is. Just, and I'm using the back end so that you can see where you have to scratch here, okay? So I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna go scratch, 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 all the way around, right? Scratch, 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 scratch. We're just making it kind of rough. And that gives the surface some um, some something to grab onto. Okay, so we're just gonna scratchy, 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 scratch. Scritchy, scratchy, make them all like this. Scritchy, scratchy, scratchy, all the way around. Scritchy, scratchy, scratchy, scratchy. Burr, 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 burr. Perfect, okay. Now, I'm gonna do the same around here. Burr, burr, burr. All the way around this circle, making some scratches again, so that there's some some grit or texture for the slip for the two pieces to grab onto each other, kind of like Velcro. Okay, so there's some scratchy scratchies. Not going deep with this, just surface. Okay, then I'm going to take my water. Go around here, make some mud. Make some mud. Okay. Go around here and make some mud. 
make a mud. Then I'm gonna put it down, give them a little push and a wiggle. And then here you can smooth out if he's got any cracks or bumps or anything that you need to fix, you can smooth that out right now, okay? Don't push too hard though. Perfect. There we go. That's my piggly wiggly head. All right. So now it doesn't look like a pig yet because we got to make his feet and we got to make his snout and we got to make his ears and his wiggle butt. Right? So let's do that first. Let's take this little piece right here. We're going to roll it into a ball. We're going to divide it into two. Uh, this might be this might be too much, but we'll see. <laughs> we're going to roll that into a ball. Then we're going to kind of roll it into a sausage. And then I'm going to uh, pinch one end, not this end, this end. I'm going to pinch that, just the one end, OK? because that's gonna be his little pig foot. That's the foot that comes out of um, the mud, okay? It's kind of like, hey, I need help here. <laughs> so I'm gonna just pinch that kind of into the thing. And then this end, I'm gonna tap because he's got like uh, little pig feet. Little pig feet are like he's got hooves, right? So I'm gonna do this one. Pinchy, pinchy. And then you can, um, how I like to make this, this texture of the hoof is I like to take the credit card and I like to just kind of roll the end over. Ooh. You don't want to push too hard because we're not trying to cut it off. We're just trying to create this texture, right? Then I like to take my paintbrush and just kind of smooth it a little bit so it's not so sharp. And then he's got a little hoof this way too, piggy, piggly wigglies do. So I'm gonna take, oh, yeah, he's gonna go this way. So I'm gonna go like this, okay? So that's my little piggly wiggly foot. And it's gonna go right there, but I need two of them. So I need one for this side. So I'm gonna do the same thing, roll it into a ball, kind of sausage. Kind of funny when you say sausage when you're making a pig. That's, that's kind of funny. Pinch one end in. Okay, so we're making kind of a diamond or kind of off to the side diamond, right? Tap that so that he's got a flat hoof or foot. Gonna smooth that out. So there's this other little foot that's gonna come up, right? Then it's I'm just laying it here for the moment so that we can kind of see how it's gonna work. This guy, I'm gonna give him a hoof. So I'm gonna roll this, right? Roll it out. Ooh. There's his little roll. So his hoof is done. Then he needs his foot this way. There we go. Perfect. Okay. So he's going to go right there. Those are his little feet coming out of the um, mud puddle. But we need to attach this to this now. So we're going to scratch, 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 scratch where the two will attach to each other. And scratch, 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 scratch. Right there. Right. Add your slip. The great thing about these videos is that if you need to stop, you can stop, you can stop me and then you can um, rewind or start all over. So I'm just gonna kind of move him in, make sure I've got him where I want him to be. Then I'm gonna do the same with this foot. Scratch, 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 scratch. Lots of scratch scratchies. I'm gonna scratch where he's gonna be attached. 
I'm going to use my slip. Burp, 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 burp. And uh, touch them. Perfect. Now, I like to finish my edges here. So I like to take my paintbrush and just kind of smooth out inside there. You can use a paintbrush. You can use your fingers. You can use the back end of this um, to kind of attach it if you need to, um, to do any smoothing, that sort of thing. If you have any lines in there and you're like, nope, that doesn't belong in there, you can use this to smooth it out. But I like to make sure I have nice clean lines. Everything is cleaned up. And uh, you know what I mean? Consistent. I like, to, I like to have nice smooth. And then here again, you can always take your fingers, smooth this out so that he's super smooth. There we go. Okay, so this sort of, I like to smooth right in. So there is his feetsies coming up and make his head. This is, this is his head because his, his legs are like way up over his shoulders. You know what I mean? His legs come from like way down there. Okay, now we need to make his big old snout. All right, so I'm gonna take a good size chunk of clay. Um, probably similar to the same size that I used for his foot. And I'm gonna roll it like this, smooth it out, any bumps, clean out all your bumps, all right? Then I'm going to put it down and I'm gonna flatten it with my hand, flatten, flatten, flatten. Oh, now it's stuck. That's his snout. That's gonna be his snout. Then his little ears are going to come here. That's a big snout. Uh, maybe he doesn't need to be that big. Maybe he doesn't need to be that big. Uh, let's take some of that off. I made him way too big, his snout. Let's roll that back up. <laughs> okay, let's flatten that out. And then um, pig snouts are kind of oval. They're not exactly round. So I like to kind of oval this out a little bit. Um, hinging it like so, so that it's more oval than round, right? Kind of like that. And then I'm going to smooth this out. So I'm going to take my fingers, get it wet. And I just want to make sure that my edges are all nice and clean and not cracky. We want to make sure that we're cleaning that all up. If you have any cracks, smooth it out okay use some water yeah that's a better snout that's a better snout for our little pig dude and then um he needs two nostrils in here right so i'm going to take the back end of a big brush like this and i'm just going to put a schnauty in there and a schnauty in there, just like that. There's my pig schnout with my two little schnauty holes in there. I'm gonna scratch the back of that. Scratch, 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 scratch. Okay. Scratch where he's gonna be looking up because he's kind of like his head is tilted back. Do you know what I mean? So he's looking up to the sky, like, help, I'm sunk. Um, so this is where it's gonna attach. We're gonna make some mud. Make the mud, make the mud, make the mud, make the mud. That's called slip. Make the mud, make the mud, make the mud. Okay. And I'm gonna attach his nose. Give him a good little wiggle, piggly wiggly. There we go. 
<laughs> He's looking cute. He's looking cute. I like him. I need to put part of his hoof back in, came out. There we go. All right, there's his, there's his little nose. Okay, now he needs two ears and some eyeballs. Now the eyeballs are up to you. If you wanna make his eyes come out, like be cartoony, you can put them like right on top or you can take the back end of a paintbrush and poke in. I think I'd like to make his eyes cartoony. Um, I'd like to give him some like really worried eyeballs. So I'm gonna take just two little balls of clay right? Make sure they're a similar size. Roll it into a ball. Same with this one. Roll it into a ball. Again, you want to try and make sure that they're very similar in size. You can see they're pretty close to each other in size. Um, I'm going to take my card and I'm just going to flatten that down a little bit. Okay, so I've got two eyeballs flattened like that, okay? Now you can, again, take your paint, your finger and smooth out any edges that you might need to smooth out on both of them. Smooth them out, there we go. And then you could give him um, like crazy googly eyes if you want to. Um, However you want to, however you want to do it, you can put your eyes like right there, like oh my goodness eyes. You know what I mean? Uh, I'm gonna show you. We're gonna use the back end of this paintbrush, and you can go googly eye, googly eye. See how cute he is. He looks so worried. His eyes are bulging out of his head. That's how worried he is. Okay, so. Again, I'm going to scratch, 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 scratch. If you just want to give him little eyeballs, you can take the back end of the brush and just put an eyeball right there and an eyeball right there, if that's how you want to do it. I want, to, I want his eyes to be like worried really a lot. So I'm going to give him, I'm going to give him three dimensional eyes. Put that on there. Oh, I forgot my slip. That was silly, Sue. Just make the mud, make the mud. There we go. There we go. Smoothen it out. Next one. Scratch. Scratch. Make the mud. Make the mud and attach a little wiggle. Okay, and then again, paintbrush, you can go in through here, clean things up a little bit. All right, anything that he needs to be cleaned up. There you go. I am going to now make his ears. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take two pieces, take one piece of clay, divide it into two so that they're fairly even, roll it, flatten it. I like to flatten these pretty good with my pinchy fingers. Okay, then we're going to make these triangles, okay, because pig's ears are kind of triangle, triangular. But I like to do that by taking my finger and smoothing up. I don't like to cut it into triangle. I like to like pinch it into triangle. It makes more of a natural sort of piggy ear look. Okay, so see how it kind of folds and piggy's ears actually do that. So there's my one little piggy ear. I'm gonna cut off a bit on the top here. Mm, or am I? Maybe, maybe what I'm gonna do is push my fingers in there and then attach that. And then I'm gonna 
oh yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. That's how I'm gonna do that. I'll go like this, pinch it flat with your fingers. Pinch flat, pinch flat, pinch flat. Right. Make it into a point. So take your finger and thumb there and pull into a point. Your piggy finger, or piggy ear, to a point. Just move that out a little bit. Piggies have really beautiful ears. I love their ears. They're so floppy. For how I love piggy ears. They're just cute. I love piggies. Piggies are cute. Ugly cute, you know? Okay, I've got two piggy ears. Are they the same size? Nope. That's okay. One's just going to flop over. Okay. So now I'm going to scratch along the bottom here. All along inside here. And I'm going to scratch right back here where I'm going to attach his ear. I'm going to make the mud. Make mud, make mud, make mud. I'm going to attach the piggy ear. Okay. Just at the bottom. And then this part, you can like bend it and manipulate it any way that you want. You can make it look like he's really worried. Like, oh my goodness, what's going on? You can play with it and manipulate it. If you're manip manipulating it, you want to make sure that it's kind of moist. So use your brush, okay? And like, make sure your fingers are moist. You don't want it drying out too much. If it starts to crack, that means it's too dry and you need to add a little bit of moisture to it, okay? Oh yeah, I like his little rumply ear right there. Cute. Now I'm gonna do this one. Scratch, 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 scratch. And I'm gonna find where I'm gonna attach it, which is right back here. Scratch, 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 scratch. Make the mud. Make the mud. Attach his other little ear. Give it a good little wiggle in there. Okay. And then you're going to manipulate it any way that you want it to be. If you want it to be um, a little more like uh, bendy. Oh yeah, look at that. See, you can twist it into place like that. This guy, I love him. Yep, he's super cute. Look at, those are his ears. Do you see how adorable he is so far? So cute. Now he just needs a wiggly tail. He needs a wiggly tail or a little curly tail. So we're gonna just take a little piece of clay like this. And that's probably way too much, but I'm gonna roll it like this, right? We wanna give it a little roll on the table. And then before we start bending this, it needs to be really wet because if it's too dry, it's not gonna bend, it's just gonna break. So I'm just taking my fingers and wetting this so it's really kind of wet. And then watch what I'm gonna do. This is how I love to make a little wiggly tail. I'm gonna take the pink tool and I'm gonna wrap this around my pink tool, just like that. And then I'm gonna slide my pink tool out. And I have the cutest little piggly wiggly tail, just like that. Then he is really wet and slippery, but so you don't need to add too much more slip because he's already slippery. And I'm gonna, Attach them right there at the back of my little piggly wiggly. Make the mud. And then attach them so that it's kind of like 
hey, that's where his little piggly wiggly tail is. Right? How stinking cute is he? I'm gonna just smooth out. Oh, no, I want your tail back that way. I smooth this out any way I can. Now notice that my tail is very close to the bottom. I don't have it sticking straight up because uh, it's a thinner piece of clay. And if I have it sticking straight up and it's got this um, little curl on it, it's going to break because it's very fragile. So it's being supported by this piece of clay right here because it's down, but it still shows that it's like close to him. But you can see right here that I can see this bottom piece of his tail is not close to his head. So I'm just going to take this and kind of push it in there so that it looks like it's coming from my pig and not just floating behind him, right? So now he is uh, pretty much done. And the only thing you're going to do now is just kind of smooth any edges that you need to smooth out. If you feel any rough edges, then it's gonna be even rougher when it's fired, okay? Um, you're going to want to let him dry for 24 to 48 hours. So one to two days until he gets really firm. Um, you can even let him dry for like more than that, a few days. And then you're going to um, paint him. So how I would paint him is I would paint all of your pink parts first. I would paint your white first, your white eyeballs. Then you're going to paint the pink parts. Um, you're going to decide if you want to give him any um, spots on him. Then I would, I'm going to paint my hoofs black on mine because I think little pigs with black hooves, pink pigs with black hooves are so cute. You're going to paint this part a little bit darker of a pink. So here you're going to use the number 30. Here you're going to mix a little bit of red in with number 30 and paint his nose that color then black, then I actually don't think that I gave you guys brown. So a great way to make brown is to mix green and red together. And if you want it really dark, add a little bit of black, okay? Um, and then you're gonna make, the, you're gonna paint the mud. The mud will be the last thing that you wanna paint because it's the darkest color that you're gonna be using other than the black for his hooves. So you can paint this first and then his little black hooves if you wanna paint it black. Um, but that's what you're, that's the order that I would recommend that you do it in. Okay. So there's our little Piggly Wiggly. He's adorable. I love him so much. And, um, I hope that you guys are all having a fantastic March break. I can't wait to see your Piglies and, um, and bring them in for firing. They're going to, so once they're fired or once they're painted, um, we have to let it dry for two weeks before we can fire it or else things go boom. So we want to make sure it's really good and dry, but you can bring it to me. Um, you can bring it to me sooner or you can bring it to me later. You can bring it to me at the end of the two weeks or you can bring it to me at the beginning of the two weeks. Um, but you just have to tell me when you bring it in how long it's how long ago it was made. OK. All right. So thanks, guys, for hanging out with me. Hope that you had fun and I hope that you're having an amazing March break. We'll talk to you soon.